All right, what's good? Welcome back to another Road to First Grade video. We're in the preliminary final here, getting ready to take on the Panthers. And in the other preliminary final, we've got the Knights and the Eels. So it ends up being the top four back in the preliminary final. As we take a look at the Panthers finals journey, they came up short against the Eels, losing to them 24 points to 10, forcing them to fight their way through losers bracket against the Cowboys and they ended up beating them 8 points to 0. As we take a look at both lineups here, the Panthers have actually been a worthy adversary throughout the season. I think we drew off them and they beat us, but we also beat them, so I guess this is sort of like a rubber match. But this time it's for all the marbles. Obviously the one to watch would be would be their halves, Tamara Martin and Docker Clay. They've always performed well in our matches against them. As we start the match with an attacking scrum on their 10 meter line. With the feed with second receiver call for the ball throw a dummy, take it to the line, then eventually shift it to Croker, and he's going to get tackled just outside their 10. And they give away a penalty. Poor discipline off the bat. First receiver, we throw a dummy, get it away to Ayono, as he drives towards their try line. First tackle here, we're a few meters out, we call for the ball, and we're going to get past one, drive towards the end goal, and we're going to get held up. Decent defense, we've got a set up on the left, we call for it on the right, the line opens up, throw a dummy, and we're just going to stroll through untouched to open the scoring with Croker here from out wide and he's going to nail the kick to extend the lead. Up by 6, 20 minutes in, they go wide to Inis or Inise and we, we missed the tackle at the back but he's wrapped up from behind. Fourth tackle, once again they go to the winger. Shrugs off one, and it's going to get around us also, and then again getting wrapped up from behind. Can't pull him down, but we slow him down just enough for someone else to cover. As we catch the fifth and last and get smashed into the end goal, a perfect kick and a great chase. Back with the Panthers on the fourth, as they spread the ball, and Cowan's going to take the tackle, just outside our 10. They're pretty deep here as they go to Tomato Martin, puts up another high ball. I try and get under it here, but it's the computer that takes over, and it's their prop that gets the jump over our radar. With Docker cleared a kick from right in front, and he ties the game up. Approaching the 35 minute mark, back in attack, they go to Bateman, gets past one, and he's wrapped up outside our 20. That first receiver here as we call for the ball, and we're going to back ourselves here and head for the corner post. There's a lot of room between us and the fullback as he looks to close the distance but we break away to score the second try of the game under the posts. It's a pretty crucial try right before half time as Kroker can run from right in front and we get the 6 point lead once again. As we head into the break here looking at the half time stats, as expected it's been a pretty close game. Back in the second half as we run onto the ball and once again slicing right through, we try and get around their fullback. He lines us up perfectly and puts another big hit on us. As we call for it on the inside a perfect pass drawing three defenders and get the offload away <laughs> to an unmarked winger Cameron Booth as he scores our third try of the game as we take another look at the finish here drawing in three defenders and we get the flip pass away to Booth and he races away to score Croker looking to convert it comes off the post and we keep the 10 point lead but again that was such a dope looking try 52 minutes in with the Panthers here as they shift the ball out and it's cut all in space we wrap them up on the 20 fourth tackle inside the 10 and the Panthers aren't done yet as they quickly shift the ball to Fisher Harris and it's gonna cross the line for the Panthers second try of the game Docker Clay slots the conversion and brings them within two a close game here back in attack with Bateman as he gets the legs pumping past our 10 to run onto it once again and we're going to slice right through one on one off their fullback this time we shrug him off with the fend no one around us as we race away to score the fourth try of the game and further extending our lead that's one of many long range tries this season as uh Croker takes the kick from right in front and as you'd expect he nails it for the eight point lead and the victory full time here at gio stadium 22 points to 12 cementing our place in the grand final as we take a look at the full time stats here we score a double and also pick up man of the match. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Leave a like for more Rugby League Life 3. Deuce, deuce.